What if every time you wanted to charge your car, you never had to download an app, you never had to enter your payment information, you never even have to pull out your phone? Is there something new coming? Is this the future? If you're new here, my name's Trevor, and if not, welcome back to the channel. I helped launch two successful EV charging startups, and now I make videos on how it works. And I promise you, if you subscribe to this channel, you'll learn everything you need to know to stay ahead of the curve. Today, we're talking about the future of EV charging and something new called plug-in charge. This is gonna make the whole process of EV charging so much easier and just better. But before we go into the future, we need to talk about the present. So how does the EV charging process work currently right now? Let's say you pull up to an EV charger that you've never used before, First, you need to download an app. Then you need to set up your account, enter your payment information, and finally initiate the charge. Even if you already have the app and have used that EV charging company before, you still need to pull out your phone and start the charge. But as soon as 2025, we'll be welcome to the world of plug and charge. But what is plug and charge? Well, it's exactly like the name sounds. You just plug in your car and it starts charging. The car is essentially your credit card and an app all rolled into one. You just plug in your car and the charger does the rest. No apps, no cards, just plug and charge. That should be their slogan. But Trev, you're talking crazy now. How does this work? This works because your car sends encrypted information like the digital ID and your payment information directly to the charger. And once it's verified, the electricity starts flowing and it's all automatic. Okay, so how is this different from how the EV charging process works right now? Well, right now the system isn't so smooth. It's a little bit more clunky. This is mostly because of a time consuming handshake process between the car and the EV charger to make sure everything's all good before the charging starts. Right now, most EV charging companies and car companies all use their own separate authentication systems. And this communication slows down the process while it's approving and authenticating. But this sounds complicated. How are the chargers gonna recognize the cars and vice versa? Well, this is thanks to something called the Certificate Trust List or the CTL, which is coming soon. It's just a list or a digital database of cars, chargers, and payment systems that have all met certain standards and have been approved. Right now, car manufacturers and charging networks are working hard to roll this out. So when is it coming? In December, 2024, they announced that everything is shifting towards plug and charge and all the big names in the industry are already on board like Tesla, Ford, and ChargePoint. They're planning to start rolling this out in 2025. Now, I should note that Tesla already uses a form of plug-in charge, but it only works for their cars and their chargers. Tesla car VIN numbers are attached to the Tesla account, which includes the payment details, so the concept is similar. The big goal is to have all electric cars and all EV chargers able to use plug-in charge. Cool, cool, so is there anything else? Well, yeah, this is the start of some cool new technology, like using your EV to send energy back to the grid or even power your home. This is called vehicle to grid technology and it's even more futuristic. We can use EVs to share power during blackouts and help manage energy. So plug and charge is pretty exciting and something to look forward to in the near future. So crazy we're going into 2025. If you have any thoughts, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Also, I wanted to say that I really appreciate all my new subscribers. Every time I see that number go up, I get more excited and more motivated to make more videos for you. I'm finally home for my trip and it feels good to be back. Thanks so much for checking in and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Respect.